Hello and welcome along. My name is Eddie and this is my vlog. And today is September the 27th. Welcome back to Scatterbrook Farm. And uh, and yeah, we are heading up to field 18. Uh, today we are going to go and get a job finished that I completely forgotten about, to be honest. Um, the, uh, the straw, the straw left over from the harvest on this field. Um, has been laying there. Thankfully, it's not been uh, really wet at all uh, between then and now. Um, and as a result, we are uh, we're, we're looking at still getting a good amount of straw off here and a good uh, a good condition of straw off here. Um, we've been having a little bit of an in, um, we've been having a little bit of an Indian summer here in uh, in Shamrock Valley, uh, which is quite nice. Uh, means things have been drying out quite well with the corn, um, but also means that we're uh, we're in just a really good place um, as far as things are in general, um, and means that yeah, having forgotten about this this uh, this straw actually is not in too bad in it. So we're going to be uh, we're going to be getting this bailed up today. Um, hopefully we'll get it collected up as well. We'll have to bring the, uh, the little, uh, Fiat up here with the trailer and, uh, and get this collected, all collected up as well, which will be, uh, which should be good. I don't think we'll have too many bales off here because this is not the biggest of fields, but, uh, it is still, we do still need to get all of this straw collected up, so... Yeah, I, I can't believe that I'd, uh, I'd, I'd so completely forgotten that this was here. Right, we're almost full. And there we go. Let's empty that out. So yeah, it's getting that time in the year where we're, we're looking to start selling off. Um, we're looking at selling the uh, some of the pigs that we've uh, that we've been feeding up this year. We're looking at selling the crops off soon. Um, yeah, it's it's just a we're kind of preparing for the end of the year. Um, it, it's just really the thing that's standing in our way of that more than anything at the moment. Is uh, is this field of corn that we've got? But we need to get our. Uh, we're going to have to get our winter wheat in soon. Uh, I want to get that planted uh, early uh, next month um, before we start getting too many big frosts and things. Uh, we'd we'd like that to sort of get germinated and uh, and get growing. So uh, we've got that to do. Uh, we've also got uh, we've also got these fields to plow. I want to get the fields that we need to plow, and uh, and that need doing done as well. Uh, so uh, where we've got the corn, especially that needs plowing. And where are we? There we go. So that needs doing, and in general, it's just yeah. Lots, still lots of work to do before winter sets in, um, in uh, about a month and a half-ish. Normally, uh, things start getting really cold mid to late November. And, uh, and I want to be prepared for that. Uh, we can, uh, we're, we're normally able to harvest right up to, uh, well, if we really, really wanted uh, into the end of uh, December, but uh, I wouldn't want to be still having crops in the ground and harvesting at that point. So uh, yeah, we are all good for this at the moment. Um, but yeah, in preparation for the next year—that's that is really the key, and making sure that we are uh, we are in a good place. The trick with this field is that it is quite hilly in places. I see I've got a road bale running as well. I'm just going to back up to the top of the hill here. 
and unload this bale so that this doesn't do what the other one's been doing which is slowly rolling down to the bottom there not so bad for us picking them up but yeah and we're worried about it rolling against the f uh, the gate and it's causing us a problem which is exactly what it's done so that's going to be fun Ah, oh, so distracted by the bale, I forgot to put my pickup back down. That's not good. We might be trapped in this field at the moment. I might have to go and... Uh, I might have to rescue us by having a run back to the farm and getting the other tractor. Unless I can find a gap in the hedge to get out of. Because that is not good news. Ah, oh, trapped. Alright, let's get this. We'll find a way to remove that. But yeah, I can't move that. I, I won't be able to open that gate with where that is at the moment. So we're definitely going to have to rescue ourselves. Oh, the wonders of working alone on a farm. We're going to be stuck up at this field. I'm going to have to jog back across the farm. Grab that other tractor and, uh, and get us rescued rescue ourselves from this field which is not great uh, we should be able to uh, bail the rest of the field though fairly easily that shouldn't be too hard uh, I would say this is not the first time that I've been stuck in a field like this it is uh, more than anything it's an annoyance I'm uh, I'm uh, not happy with that. Right. And unload it. And away we go again. This uh this little old class baler has been really good to us. I'm uh I'm quite uh, quite pleased with how well it functions and how well it does farm. It's got a nice wide pickup on it. Um, rarely we do we miss any uh, any straw when using this baler. It just sort of picks up very nicely. He says as he misses two patches of straw. That was bound to happen, wasn't it? As I said, rarely we miss any straw with this pickup. Uh, it uh, it works uh, works really well. Uh, creates some good bales as well. And oh, come on. Hopefully we'll be all right coming down here. And uh, just looking at that bale, trying to work out how I'm going to move it without an issue. We've got a patch, I think. It's just like. Uh, hedge is a little bit thin there. Hedge is very thin. Very thin here, okay. So yeah, we're not completely trapped in the field. We're just apparently trapped in the field. That'll be okay then. What I'm going to do is now that we've got all the headlands out, we'll head up back up to the top of the field. And we'll get, uh, we'll start bailing from the top. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to, we'll have to get out of that gateway at the side there. Right, pick up down, and away we go. So as I said, not a huge amount of bales off here. We're uh, we're looking at having maybe half a dozen, I think. Um, Certainly no more than that. I don't think... Uh, what, we've got three on the field... No, four on the field at the moment. Okay, maybe a dozen. Maybe a dozen. Um, I think. I'm taking old turn rows at the moment, but uh, to be honest, my turning circle is much better suited to taking triples. So we're going to do that. And of 
turned it off rather than loaded it. That's what happens when you hit the wrong button sometimes. There we go. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to get a, a... Yeah, maybe a dozen bales off here. That will be quite good. Uh, we'll load up at the top end of the field. Uh, majority of our bales should be up here because of... Uh, Basically, how much straw there is at the top of the field compared to the bottom. But you can see we're getting diminishing returns the further down the field we get. And uh, ah, maybe maybe the estimate of about half a dozen might be about right. We do not have six more bales on this field. I think we might have maybe... Maybe only seven bears on this field. Looking at uh, look at the amount of straw we're getting off. And looking at how fast this is filling up. I don't think we've got more than a couple of bales left here. I want to try and leave the baler empty for the end of the year. There we go. most of that on our way through and then keep going and uh, and yeah we've got we've got one more bale here but it's taken us most of going down and back to get this bale so I think we might have uh, yeah, some one one more bale after this Yeah, I think there's about one more bales worth here, at most, which would uh, which would give us seven bales off this field. So that's not bad at all. So let's. Turn the wrong way. There we go. Get some nice even rows. 25% uh, full. Yeah, it's it is gonna be a single bell, I think. We've got we've got quite a bit of straw at the top end of this field still, but it is a it is a single bale's worth with leaving some rather than a uh, rather than two full bales up here we we just never get two full bales off this yeah, although although kind of depends where we are at the end of this row to be honest Wow, if we if we have a full bale at the end of this row, then there's a chance. I'm not sure we have though. Oh wow, we are gonna be really close. Really, really close. Maybe there is another Ooh. There's not a lot of straw left on, left on this field. That <laughs> is my worry now. Yeah. I think we're gonna be left with straw in the bale up but we'll see or oh, we might just end up with a small bale we can unload a small bale off this so there's enough left on this field for me to have a try so let's see how much straw is there in this row Nineteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-five, twenty-six percent of a bale. Okay. If we've got half a bale here, we should be able to unload a, a small bale. But yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, 
four, five, six. Oh, we already have seven bales. I've miscounted. Not bad at all, though. Over 50% of a bale here, so we should be able to fill all of this, or get all of this on, uh, or unloaded. So, let's lift that up, turn that off, and we will try unloading that. Yep, yeah, there we go. So, that's a 2,344 litre bale. What we're going to do now is come out the side of the field here, I think. Uh, let's go and have a look at this first. Okay, let's get this out of here and, yeah, through this gap in the hedge. Thankfully, it's not a huge, great verge. Don't like turning out onto the main road like this, but that is uh, that is okay. We've managed to get ourselves out the field. That is annoying, that bale. Right, and we'll head back down the yard. Switch over and, uh, and get our trailer and the Fiat. Uh, I'm hoping I've got the bale spike on the front of the Fiat, although... It's very likely that it's not, that it's currently got the, uh, the pallet tines on it. So we'll have a look. Actually, we're more likely to use the bale spike, I think. But we shall see. Uh, into the yard. There's our trailer. So we're going to be hooking that up to the weight on the back of the Fiat. And I'll just park this over here for now yeah this field of uh, the sunflower field that is going to need doing as well we're going to need to plow this so there's going to be a fair amount of plowing going on as well let's run around here what have we got on yeah we've got the uh, pallet tines on so we'll just take this up to the workshop over here And uh, we'll get them switched over. There we go. All done. Let's uh, get this hooked back onto the tines. Start her up. And we have to go the long way around to get the trailer hooked up now. That shouldn't be too bad. Right, there we go. Really, really great little old tractor, this. Um, as I said before, mainly have it for yard work, but it gets out into the fields and gets to stretch its legs a bit when we have this job to do. Chickens will all get out of the way. There we go. And hook up our trailer, like so. Oh, let the neighbour pass. There we are. And we will head back up to our field. Uh, oh, we're going to have to get... Now, we're going to have to manoeuvre this trailer into the field on the main road. Which is uh, which is not great. Um, especially if we're coming from this way. So, I'm going to drive past the roadway that we'd normally take. And we'll pop over the bridge. You guys can see the very scenic view. Down Shamrock Valley and back to the farm. Look at that. It's a slightly hazy day here. But uh, but still a glorious, still a very beautiful one. 
Something of a crisp autumn day today. Not wet, just a little bit cold. Look, there's the train going across the viaduct. So we... Heading up to our field uh, up on the side here. Right, and into here, and uh, and yeah, we're gonna have to bypass our gateway. Oh, it's a little bit bumpy. We'll head up to the top of the field and uh, and because as I said before most of our bales are up here and we want to get these all collected up fairly easily so uh, and doing it on flat ground is uh, is by far the easiest way to do it so there we go let's connect that and There we are. Right, let's free up our gateway first. Make it easier for us to go and head back later. Again, this this bale is in a little bit of an awkward place for us. But we should be able to get it up. And we'll just reposition it on our tines before we, uh, before we load it onto the trailer at the top. But yeah, this little Fiat Agri has done uh, has done this farm well for a very long time. Absolutely cracking little tractor, and of course, once this would have been the workhorse of the farm, this would have uh, this would have done all the jobs we're currently doing with the sixty eight ten. In fact, it probably would have done some of the jobs we're doing with the six R. You know, it's. Uh, while it may not have a huge amount of power for a modern setup, it uh, certainly would have been a, a fairly powerful tractor back in the day. Right, let's put our first bale on. There we go. I'm gonna head back down and go and grab the other one at the bottom of the field. Uh, and basically just keep working our way back towards the trailer is the most efficient way of doing this so line ourselves up it's quite good this tractor the visibility for picking up bales is really good on this we've got that top bale spike we can line everything up with we can place it just below the bonnet and uh, and, the, and it just means that this this nice big front panoramic window gives us this this great view of everything we're doing with the front loader on here and I love using this tractor for this job it just it just makes it a breeze to do now it hasn't got a huge height but even even actually even the height view is not bad you know it's uh, it's got it is a nice big front window on this cab Right, so we'll try and line it up with where the other bale is. Drop it down a bit. And I can now tell where I am on the trailer. That will do it nicely. Perfect. And look at that. Straight on the trailer. Nice and even. Exactly what we want. So we'll, uh, yeah, we'll get that locked down like that. And that, of course, is our slightly smaller bale. Next one we've got is over here. And again, so you can see the bale spike. You can see where it says. We can see how straight we are onto the bale, which is good news. We can position ourselves a little bit better. And then grab the bale and up. Don't want to reverse too fast. 
Uh, the bale is on there, but you can end up with bales flying off if you're not careful. Right, and I'll be far enough over. Advantage of using a dolly trailer for this job uh, compared to a uh, just a, 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 a normal trailer, a trailer with a, a hitch and uh, and uh, just one set of back wheels, is it's much easier to load if we don't have a tractor uh, attached to it. Uh, means that we're able to um, to get away without not having to have a second tractor. <laughs> Excuse me. Means we can get away without having a second tractor up on this field. Oh, sometimes you can't escape that. It just happens. All you have to do is hope that your tractor is not in a position that's going to be a problem. Yeah, eight bales in total off here is really, really good. Right. And down we go. Did roll a little bit, but we're still good. Yeah, it doesn't roll that much. So that is. Uh... Well, there we go. So yeah, this but this bale here, two thousand three hundred liters. So we need to we need to make sure that bale gets used early. I think. head round and see if we can get into this one. There we go. So yeah, this uh, this of course will hold a lot more bales than this. But uh, this field is, is easier than most of ours to, uh, to load bales on. Uh, it's it's not quite so um, not quite so hilly at the top end. I mean, the bottom end obviously has a big slope on it, but the top end, yeah, not so bad. All right, there we go, and slot into the bale up and round. Put this on our trailer. Sometimes it's useful to overshoot like that. And, oh. Yeah, want to be careful. Right, we need to be a little bit further over. There we go. That should do it. Down and on. So again, over here. Do that. Two more bales to go. And then we can get these back down to the farm. And I can unload them at my leisure. I.e. Fairly quickly. Um, but uh, yeah. We don't want to leave these on the trailer too long. Uh, we don't need to. Um, we don't need to get them off that quickly. But, uh, yeah, we will do. We'll get them into the shed, get them undercover, make sure that we keep these bales as well uh, preserved as we can because, uh, yeah, we're going to need these this year. Right, there we go. And then, finally... That bale there, round and up. Well, 
load it in. Whoa. Now that's why you need to be careful when you're backing off and make sure that your wheels are straight. That very easily could have sent that bale flying off the back. As it is, it actually lined it up with its counterpart quite nicely. So, uh, yeah, that is, uh, that is not bad at all. Let's hook this up to the front. Or to the back. Right, and I would say that that is a job jobbed. We're going to leave this video here. So all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.